Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Chrome OS with Google Play Store Dual Boot with Windows. It may be Windows 10 or Windows 11. This method is going to be super easy. After watching this video, you can easily install Chrome OS with Google Play Store on your PC. So, without getting much more delayed, let's get started. Now, open your browser. Go to the site. Link will be given in the description. Now, you'll have to click on Windows 64 bit. Close the ad. Download will be started. Now search for Grab to Win. Open the very first link. Click on Download. Just wait a few seconds. Download has been started. Download has been completed. Now search for Cross Tech Chrome OS. Open the very first link. Now click on here. Here you'll have to download as per your system code name. I'm using i3 8 generation, so I'll download Ramas and go to Saviona. Now in this option, You'll have to click on the latest. Whenever you click any number here, download will be started. Now search for branch GitHub. Open this link, release, save and branch GitHub. Now here, you'll have to download the version whichever you have downloaded Chrome OS. For example, if you have downloaded Chrome OS 127, then you'll have to download branch 127. As I have downloaded Chrome OS 130, then I'll have to download branch 130 or 129. Just click on the stable tor.cz, click on it and download will be started. After downloading, close the browser. And now we will need another thing that is Chrome OS IMG making code. The link will be given in the description. Now minimize this. And right click on this Windows icon, select Disk Management. Here you'll have to create or choose a new drive with a space of minimum 70 gigabytes. If you have bigger drive, then right click on it, click Shrink Volume and create a drive. Now in my case, I have another drive and allocated. I'll right click on it, select New Simple Volume, click on New, then click on Next, click on Next, click on Next. And now, here the drive name should be given as Chrome OS. Now click on Next, Finish. Now it's done. Close it. Also close it. Now click on the search menu. Search for features. And you'll find turn windows feature on off. Click on it. From here, you'll have to turn on windows subsystem for Linux. And virtual machine platform. Click on OK. Just wait a few seconds. Now click on restart now. Your PC will be installed. Now you'll have to access the BIOS menu of your PC. To access the BIOS menu, you can refer this photo, otherwise, you can search on Google. Now you'll have to select Virtualization Support. Go to Virtualization. And if the Virtualization is disabled, enable it. And click on Exit. Now open this PC. Go to Download folder. And here you'll find this file WSL update. Just double tap on it and click on next, click on yes, click on finish. Now open Microsoft Store and here search for Ubuntu and you'll find Ubuntu Pre, click on it, click on get. Here you'll have to wait 10 to 15 minutes to complete the installation. Now when it's completed, click on open. Now you can close this. Just wait a few seconds to complete the installation process. If you find it's taking too much time, close it. Click on Start. You'll find even to open it. After opening two or three times, you can see that it's ready. Now go to Download folder. Now select the Chrome OS file. Right click on it. Click on Extract. Check this. Go to Browse. Go to this PC. And you'll have to select Chrome OS Drive. Open it. Click on select folder. Now click on extract. Just wait a few minutes to complete the extraction. Now it's done. Now select branch on this code. Right click on them. Select copy and go to this PC. And go to the Chrome OS folder and paste them here. Now it's done. Now open this command file. Select the first command. Right click on it. Copy. Minimize everything. Go to Ubuntu, right click on it, and it's paste it here on the any key. Now we'll have to wait a few seconds. Now it's done. Again, go to the command, copy the second line, minimize this, and right click on Ubuntu here on the any key. Type Y and here on the any key. Again, wait a few seconds. Now it's completed. Go to command again, copy the third line, minimize, and right click on Ubuntu. Now it's done. Go to command again and open this PC. Now you'll have to check 
the drive layer of Chrome OS drive. In my case, it is D. In your case, it may be different. Now close it and select the drive layer and replace with the drive layer. Select it, copy the line, minimize this. Right click on here, here on the N key. Now type LS here on the N key. Now you can see everything is here. Now go to Chrome OS drive. Now here click on view, select show, and here you'll find file name and extensions. Select it. Now click on the branch, right click on it, select rename on your keyboard. Press Ctrl plus A, right click on it, select copy. Now go to the command, select the branch release name, right click on it, paste it. Now it's done. Again go to the folder, select Chrome OS, right click on it, select rename, select everything, right click on it, select copy. Now go to the command, select from Chrome OS to dot bin, right click on it, paste it. Now it's done. Now we'll have to replace this number. Again, open this PC. In my case, the Chrome OS drive is 233 GB. And here you'll we'll have to choose the size approx 210 GB. If your drive size is 70 GB, then, you'll, then your Kubernetes image should be 60 GB. Always make sure the drive size is bigger than the image size. So put the image size. Now minimize the folder. Select this line. Copy it, minimize and go to Ubuntu, right click on it, here on the N key. Now we'll have to wait here. Now it's done. Again, go to the command. Now select the final line and copy. Minimize this, right click on Ubuntu, here on the N key. Now in this stage, you'll have to wait 20 to 30 minutes. Now when it's completed, select this dual boot, press on your keyboard control plus C and now just right click on it, dual boot is typed here, click on the enter key, now you can see it's created, close it, go to the Chrome OS drive and here you can see files are created, Chrome OS recovery dot grab text is created here, now you can delete branch, delete the Chrome OS dot bin file, delete this profiles to you. Make sure that these two files are in the Chrome OS drive. Chrome OS recovery image and this Chrome OS recovery graph text. Now double tap on the graph text. Now select everything, right click on it, select copy, close it. Now go to download folder and now this time click on this icon, open the Windows security. Now go to virus and threats protection, click on manage settings. Disable all the settings. Then go to firmware and network protection. Go to domain network. Disable it. Disable all the three options. Now close it. Now open graph to win. Now just install the grab to win. Click on Mario Info. Click on Run Anyway. Click on Yes. Click on OK. Now click on Close the Setup. Now right click on the desktop. Select Display Settings. Here you can see the display resolution. Now from the drop down, you'll have to select your display resolution. Now click on Manage Boot Menu. Now click on Add a New Entry. From this drop down, select sub menu. Put the name of the menu as Chrome OS. Now, here, click on the drop down, select your screen resolution, click on edit custom codes, right click on here, paste them. Now, click on close, click on save, click on OK, again OK, again OK, again apply, click on OK, click on apply, click on OK. Now, click on close. Now, restore your PC. Now in the screen and select Chrome OS here on the N key. Again select branch and here on the N key. Here in the stage you'll have to wait approx 30 minutes. Now in the screen make sure you're connected to the internet and now click on get started. Now here select for personal use, click on next. 
Now click on next. Login with your Gmail ID. Accept terms and conditions. Again accept. Now you can use a new password or you can use Google password to log in Chromebook and click on next. Again click on next. Select your icon size. Click on next. Select theme. Click on next. Click on get started. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Chrome OS dual boot with Windows and you can see Play Store is here. Thanks for watching.